Treasure Trove Gaming coming at you with another thrift store find. We are here at Half Priced Books, records and magazines. Sometimes they got some legit games, sometimes they don't. Um, I'm also going to be headed to GameStop to do a few trade-ins. I've got some Xbox One and PS4 games that I've you know bought for cheap at thrift stores that I'm going to sell back to GameStop because they've got... Uh, turn in three games get an extra 40 percent if you're a pro member so i am a pro member i'm gonna trade in four games and it comes out to about 85 bucks so i'm gonna head into half price books i'll see you inside as you can see they got tons of games the prices are a little much a lot of the times but oh look at that fancy star four in the box that's pretty sweet Will got some good stuff at half price books, so I'll let you know what it is in a minute or when I get back home. Right, let's see. Movies, 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 and then sports games. Sports games. Clifford the Big Red Dog. Guitar Hero, beautiful, huh? You always gotta check these ones, cause it could be something. Oh! Phone calls coming, catch you guys in a minute. So, no, no, no. No, I'm not really looking to build a PS2 collection or anything like that. Um, and there's these ones too. I mean, maybe this, no, not the Xbox One either. Or Xbox One, I, I, original Xbox OG, you know what I'm saying, not Xbox One One, but <laughs> some games they make. Anyway, nothing here, heading out to the next place, see you there. Next stop, are you guys up, I don't know, I think you guys are upside down, no, nope. next stop, Rasputin. Alright, in the Rasputin, let's see. Sega Dreamcast game? What? What? No way! Getting it, that's an easy get right there. Sega Dreamcast game at the Rasputin's? Use, I can't make this up, man. That is awesome. PC games, I found a cool PC game. I don't have a PC to play it on. Last time I was here, I did show you guys, but you never know, there could be some hidden gems in these PC games, so. Definitely getting this one, all right. I see two Wii U games, let's hope they're worth it. I got tons of Wii Fits, I don't have tons, I got two Wii Fit boards, so. Oh, Disney Infinity and Skylander Super Treasure, not worth it. Yeah, yeah, it's always the same stuff, but every now and then. So I'm just gonna go through these fairly fast. We, we, we fit, fit, fit. All right. Two Xboxes. Okay, I'm, as you can see, it's Xbox, Xbox 360s, PlayStation 4s, 3s, and then 2s at the end. So if I find anything, I'll put you back up. All right. Got my Sega Dreamcast game. Uh, Skate 3 for $5.95. Madden fit 16 for the PS3, $3.95. And then... Transformers Dark of the Moon for $5.95. And the reason why I'm doing that is because 
you know, today I just want a quick buck. I actually am going into GameStop to trade in some other games. So I that's why I picked those up. So GameStop has this for $5.50, but if I bring four, three or more games and I'm a pro member, it's going to be 40% extra. So it's an extra two bucks. So, you know, I, I basically bought the Dreamcast game for free at half price books. It was 20% off my entire purchase, and I wish I went back in. I could go back to get more, but Lord of the Rings for the PS2. So I 20% uh, off, hang up to about $1.80. Um, Harry Potter and the Order of Phoenix, same thing. Happy Feet, same thing. Uh, Nintendo GameCube NHL 2003 it was a buck, so it came out to 80 cents. And MLB, the show 14 was two bucks, and I'm going to trade this one into GameStop. So... Um, I'm looking just to show you what else I'm trading to GameStop is all these games too. So I got all these games going to GameStop and, and it's because I have them and I, I want the credit at GameStop instead of waiting for, you know, selling them or giving them away or anything. Anyway, on to the next Goodwill and Salvation Army, which are next to each other. And then I'm going to hit up the GameStop and then a Best Buy because I want to see what sales they have and I'm looking to buy a new Nintendo Switch game. See you at the next Goodwill Salvation Army. Peace out. Okay, at the Salvation Army. I'll show you what I got at the Goodwill in a minute. There are tons of people where I was at, so I didn't want to film for whatever reason. I got a little nervous, but someone beat me to the punch with tons of games. Well, I got like eight games, but I got a few and an extra little surprise that I'm going to give to somebody for an early birthday slash Christmas gift. Anyway, here at the Salvation Army, let's see what I can find. As you can see, it's just tons of movies. You got to go through all of it to even like get something when you do it's just something like that nothing really anything except you got cool just little things like that which is fun but oh man MLB the show 09 this could be it sounds empty people come and take games out it's kind of sad if you think about it like Stealing from an organization such as this. Anyway, all right, if I find anything, I'll turn it back on. So we got some NES games. Looks like they're six ninety nine each. All pro basketball. Did you have? I'm just looking, thank you. I'm just trying to, yeah, can you pull these? Do you mind? Thank you, I appreciate Which it. Which one? The four right here, yeah. Sure. All right, so you saw it. four NES games. Oh, turn that down. Four NES games, six ninety nine each. You know, maybe that Batman game, but the other ones, I think they're way too expensive for that. And I think these places don't really know what they have and they just price whatever. So, Star Wars The Force Unleashed 2 at Goodwill, $2.99. Wolfenstein The New Order, $2.99. All four discs are in there. Star Wars The Complete Saga, $2.99. And uh, I picked this up for my brother. Shout out to my bro bro, Adam. Uh, he's currently in the Navy. Long time commitment member over there. He's going to retire from it, but the original transformers all the discs are in here this is going to be his early present he will comment down below once he receives this video because he is a supporter of mine just like y'all should be please comment please give it likes subscribe and we'll go for more anyway i'm gonna head to gamestop i really want to trade these in i'm not looking to sell them for more than what gamestop's giving me i know i know i could make a little bit more if i wanted to or keep them but uh, i'm really looking to get a, a game or two dynasty warriors 9 just came out for the xbox one that game looks dope. I know there's a ton of Switch games I want to play. So I'm going to head to game, uh, GameStop and then one more Goodwill because I'm supposed to be picking up a little something something from this guy at the Goodwill that he's going to bring me. And then I'll show you what it completes that I did buy at Goodwill because I'm going to do one more video, a pickup video of Macari if I do get anything at Best Buy, GameStop, and then that um, Goodwill. See you guys later. All right, Treasure Trove Gaming. I'm back at the pad. Beautiful day out, by the way. It started at 37 degrees. It's now 85 degrees outside today. That is a beautiful day. Anyway, so going to recap of what I did. So um, at the GameStop, they gave me a grand total of $85.40 for everything that I traded in. 
Um, let's see, this Lego Marvel's Avengers for the PS3. Uh, they gave me $18.20. I did find that GameStop dumpster diving. Today they had, I get 10% for my Power Up Rewards member. And then they, it's also an extra 40% if you trade three or more in. So 50% all together. So anyway, um, let's see. Madden 16 I picked up at... For five bucks, they gave me seven. MLB The Show, this was my only bad flip. I picked it up for $1.60, they gave me $1.40. Uh, Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens, I picked up for $6.99, they gave me $14. I've been trying to sell an offer up and let go for 15 bucks. No one wanted it. Lego Marvel Super Heroes for the Xbox One, they gave me $14. This was part of a, I didn't show the pickup, I guess I should have. The guy had a bunch of games on offer up or let go for 100 bucks. It was about 15 games. Um, a bunch of them were... Okay, it was some PS2 games, and then uh, I had like Super Smash Bros. was in there, NBA Q2K16, NBA Live 15, uh, Nintendo Land was there. Uh, so he wanted 100 bucks for everything. Uh, what else was there? That, that Lego game. There was also a, I thought it was a Wii U game of um, this one, New Super Mario Bros. Wii U, but actually what was in there was All-Stars for the Wii. So 80 bucks for all that, I thought it was a fair price, and I got 14 bucks back for one of them, so I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Transformers Dark of the Moon, I bought for $2.99 at Goodwill. Star Wars, of course, at least $2.99 at Goodwill. Lego Star Wars Original Trilogy, $2.99 at Goodwill. Wolfenstein The New Order, $2.99 at Goodwill. I thought it was a great deal, so I'm really, 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 really happy about that. Um, I want to get into a quick what overcue. I, I got Soul Fighter at Rasputin. It's like a Dreamcast game. Always going to buy this one. Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King, uh, PS2. Harry Potter, Order of Phoenix, PS2. Happy Feet, GameCube. NHL 2003 for the GameCube. It was a dollar. Actually, it was 80 cents because it was 20% off. So, very happy about that. Um, I found this bad boy through my store, uh, going through my old stuff. I don't know why I still had an Xbox controller s sealed in its package unopened 29.99 back in the day these, these are going for like 80 bucks now so that's pretty cool um i also bought this from my brother adam uh shout out to adam out there in the navy he is a lifer so give him uh good wishes to get home safe and volume one two three four four or it says volume one two three and special features for the old school transformers um cartoon he's gonna love this piece of history right here okay into what i got at goodwill a couple uh, a couple days ago like tuesday monday i was hoping to show it case it today but I, so i went there and i got this beautiful call of duty modern warfare 2 joint task force 2 special edition xbox 360 250 gig I don't know if you could see that 250 gig uh hdd drive and it's the old old one look at that that is the old xbox 360 beast because it takes the huge power brick and it didn't have anything. I attached this HDMI cord and they still gave me $9.99. And I was supposed to go today because one of the workers said, oh, I have an old Xbox 360 power brick like that that I could bring you. And I was like, sweet. So I came back today, he didn't have it. Um, I did buy this there that same day for uh, $2.99 to play on this system. I was gonna play it, didn't on this TV, down in my basement, didn't happen. So I don't have an old power brick. Um, I don't know, I, I've got the next box. 360 the slim model that's got a different connection so i can't play it anyway i'm gonna get into so i bought something off ebay uh <laughs> it's the mario party booklet instruction booklet i got it for two bucks i'm gonna add it to my nintendo 64 collection my mario party game is in here somewhere this is all from when me growing up so i'm happy to add that to my little collection right there uh, let's see, I also bought off of, shout out to K, K-A-Y dot L-I-N on Macari. Um, I bought this game, where is it, here it is. I bought this game, Fire Emblem Shadow of Dragon for 30 bucks. And, and the reason is because Fire Emblem's awesome and also because I found this dumpster diving. Um, now I can have a complete game and it does work, I did try it. Uh, I've got a complete game. So I bought this for 30 bucks. This, you know, on a good day, this is going for 50, 60 bucks. So that's awesome for me. I'm not going to sell. I'm going to keep it. Anyway, uh, the other thing is I bought, uh, she, I was like, do you bundle stuff? And she's like, yeah, bundle, bundle, bundle. So I said, I would like to bundle with this. She gave me 
Pokemon Ruby version. And this is a real copy. You can see it's it's a little see-through a little bit. You can see the battery. I do need to replace the battery. It did not save. I already tried it. Uh, the, the, the E for everyone looks right. Um, it's glossy. It's kind of beat up on the front, but it works. And it's the Ruby version. Nintendo seal looks great. The Nintendo thing looks great. It does, does not look like a fake. Uh, she also threw in this keychain for me. Uh, it's a Pokeball, gotta catch them all. I thought this was really, really sweet. Uh, and then I went into some of my old games and I found an empty case to put my Ruby version in. And I wanted, to, I, when I tested it out, I do have a Game Boy SP. I wanna show you my Game Boy SP. Look at this bad boy. NES edition, Game Boy SP. Gonna put it in here and let's boot her up. Oh, beautiful. So there you go. It, it is a legit version. Um, everything works fine. I can't save though, unfortunately, because I don't have the, the internal battery has run dry. The game can't not can't the game can be played. However, clock based events will no longer occur. So oh well, the game battery's dry, but I guess it can still save. This was, I guess, her save. That's cool. Oh, Treco, Grovile. Anyway, uh, the game does work, and I'm happy about that. So I thought that was a great little Makari pickup. I wanted to share that with you guys. And again, I appreciate you guys checking me out today. Um, Please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, comment down below what, what's been a good eBay or Mercari find. I already did a Goodwill one. Someone mentioned that they bought an Xbox One console for 15 bucks at a Goodwill. That's brilliant right, right there, you know what I'm saying? So again, appreciate you checking me out. Longer video than normal. I hope you stay tuned all the way to the end. I will catch you guys later. Be safe.